Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. And we live, brothers and sisters. Once again, man, SebMyRadio.com. I got a couple of the brothers in here with me, man. We are working on this new podcast. We're going to call it the podcast from the gods. We're going to call it the Godcast. We're going to call it uh, the Hidden Hand. We're going to call it, uh, what is it we're going to call it, man? We don't, we, ain't, we I guess we ain't quite sure on the name yet, but all we know is we're going to talk some real shit when we get on here. So just look on the, be on the lookout for the official title of the podcast. Judo Woke Ace is in the building. What's up, what's up? And Mr. Detroit holding it down with me. What's going on, bro? What's going on, good people? How y'all feel out there? How y'all feel out there? Man, y'all see the shenanigans that's going on on the screen right now, man, all around the country. We got the uh, the, the the presidential race looking like it's about to wrap up with uh, a new president-elect in the office. At least that's how it looks. Mm. It look, it look that's like how it mean. looks. <laughs> It looked pure, pure um, theater to me, you know. Look pure and they, theater, and they too, might huh? drag it on for a minute because you got lawsuits, you got um, ballot harvesting, like we, we touched on the other ballot day. Ballot harvesting. We just talked about ballot harvesting the other day, man. Tell, break them down what ballot harvesting is. Ballot harvesting, so we can possibly understand how that may let me break it down play in into what's going on right now. Let me just break it down in street form. Ballot harvesting is if, if you roll up to a house and four four people is registered to a lot. And there's no house there, then we know it. You know, <laughs> that's just that's just break, basically this, just the break. Make a long out. story short, right? Because uh, the politicians they have a list of uh, of registered voters in their district, in their right. you know, in their you know communities where they're campaigning at. So, so now uh, you see the surge of the bit of, uh, of the Biden. You see the surge through the mail, the mail in, the mail in votes. votes, right? So it's a possibility that you feel like that this is a. Uh, by way of a, a, a ballot harvesting because on both, on both, they, they, on they, both ends. they fluff the vote uh, by taking um, addresses of, of, of residents that are not occupied and turning them into registered voters and, and filling out the ballots themselves and turning them in. You feel like that's what's not going not on. just that. I have, um, I have heard that people have gotten like two and three ballots per house per person. Hmm. So you can refill them out. I mean that's going on today. I'm quite sure somebody out there that's um, listening or looking um, have seen or have gotten extra ballots. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had a, <laughs> I had a friend of mine who voted who said when she turned her ballot in, as you know how you turn your ballot into the machine, it shows the number uh, of which ballots you turn. You know the number of which ballot is turned into the machine, and she said that the number on her ballot did not match the number that she uh, that was shown on the machine. Of course. So it so so per se, like if it said that her ballot was number <clears throat> one fifty being turned into the machine, but she but she seen that her ballot was number one sixty three, then where was the other thirteen ballots in between, you know, hers and the what the machine was reading. You see what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the, the the machine is thirteen ballots short. Right. And now we see in, in situations like Georgia where uh apparently the S D card had an error that caused them to now have to go back and manually uh, recount the votes. And another one where the voter machines, for some reason, the, the ballots, they were the wrong size to fit into the ballot machines. Mm -hmm. So now they had to go back and copy the ballots from the original ones on, on new ballot sheets that were the correct size to fit into the voting machines. You didn't know that prior? <laughs> Right. You didn't test. The, you the, didn't do the, a the, test the sheet, run. It was the wrong size sheet. Everybody do a test run, right, Mister Detroit? Hey, Amen. Everybody do That's a test run. Supposed to. I mean, you're supposed to. They so had this, months. This is they had a whole year or Georgia. a couple this. years to do this. I mean, I'm quite sure they had other elections before this. So why now? And then in other places in the country, I forget exactly what city. I guess because of the, uh, the the disruption in the mail system. Okay, this this city was allowed to uh, 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 prolong time time after. Um, the polls had closed. They were allowed time afterwards to turn theirs in because of the mail system was disrupted, probably due to uh, Donald Trump snatching all of the mail boxes off of the street and they were, they were unable to mail them in. But 
nonetheless, it's, it's been all kinds of little distractions and little situations going on in regards to the voting that I've been watching over the last few hours with these last few states. Yeah, yeah. Let's take this, uh, Mr. Detroit, for example. Detroit has a mark and ballot system. Mm hmm. Literally with a pencil. Right in ballot. Right? We're behind prehistoric in the system already. Mm -hmm. Why is that one of the um, main urban or the main cities in the U.S.? Why do we have a right in, an old system where uh, um, a, a state like South Carolina is le electronic? Why is that? It's designed like that, man. Right. But we like 80% people color. Right. Do you think it's like it's designed that way so they can ballot harvesting or yeah. they can more scheme off of votes or you yeah. know what I'm saying we we're, we're gonna keep Detroit or Michigan right in yeah 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 we're gonna keep Chicago like that we're gonna keep DC probably like even, that. even even the criminal way when you get locked up they give they still give you the fingerprint mm -hmm. versus other states is computerized yeah yeah so is that way criminals can get through easy you know mm -hmm. they can scheme off the system yeah, yeah. and we let them back out onto the streets but we blame it on the system yeah yeah and we blame it on blame it on black people right that's the target that's the easy target right here in 2020 now you know black lives matter put everything on, on them now where everybody else benefit you know so you know it's 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 just amazing how you know that we looking at what pennsylvania right we're looking at north carolina we're looking at nevada and all of a sudden, in the state of Michigan, Michigan went from red to blue, just like that. Just like that. And you got people that are happy about this. The scheme. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, we, we, we did it. We did it. You, you know, you got people like, you know, um, you haul two men in the truck need to be at the president house pull, pulling up. They more, they more concerned about getting Trump out of office. Than looking at the whole sculpture of the system and how to destroy this shit. Nah, it's corrupt. You worried about one dude. One dude. Trump did what he's supposed to do. Trump told you exactly everything he's supposed to do. He wasn't like we talked, he wasn't complying to the system, man. We gotta get him and, out and of the here. The crazy part is is that it is I would I would gamble and say that probably sixty percent of the people that actually voted for Biden don't really fuck with Biden either. They just no. voted Biden. Right, right. is against the, they, they just, vote they went just, against they Trump. They were just more against Trump than they were Biden. Right. That's what it, that was what it was all about mainly. My vote, I don't I know Biden is an they, old They weren't voting racist. for Biden. Mm -hmm. They were voting against Trump. I know, I right. I know that Kamala is the cop. Look, Yolanda said Westland was using black markers. Black markers for what? To to write in, like to you know how you got to go in and you got to. Uh, oh, black markers. Yeah, like the black markers. I mean, I've never seen black markers. I thought you had supposed to have black pens, right? Supposed to have like black pens. They was making sure it stick. Yeah. Or I mean, black markers. What? What would that? Uh, As opposed to, to pencils, I guess. So you couldn't alter uh, the, the right. vote, maybe. Because allegedly, from what I seen was yesterday when I was looking at it, they were saying how. People were well, the Trump supporters. They was making them use black markers. Hmm. How and would they it, know? How would they know? Because they was they was snapped. Um, I seen a couple of interviews that people were posting. When you walk in, they was giving people black markers. Where initially you supposed to always have a pen, and if you had the black pen at the Trump supporters, I mean at the the the, the, the um the people that was voting for Trump. Or the areas that Trump was more populated, mean, yeah. they were taking their pens from them and giving them markers for errors. Mm. And so you had this. I want to say you had this. That like, would be that would be errors, right? Yeah, that that would be errors. So you had you had certain people saying, "Well, they took my pen and told me to use a marker." Mm -hmm. And so when you went up there to cash your ballot, they were just doing it. And and they was it was coming back errors and you, and so people start uh, um, uh, posting on, on on social media talking about this and it was one area where you know uh, people start calling the police like man they got this guy you know, they got this using markers out here 
Now, I don't know if Yolanda area that where, where she's from, Westland is predominantly, you know, white or they Trump. You know, I, I don't know that area, but they were saying how uh, the people that was more that was supporting Trump was having the problems. And and, and I'm looking at this. I'm like, OK, what what, what about what, um, what Robert said? It took the most votes in history, in history to beat Trump, to beat Trump. Somewhere so, along seven million votes, I believe. That's millions, right? The majority of them were millions because the uh, when, when everybody that uh, voted on election day at the polls, yeah, the majority of those were Republicans. Let's, Republican just, let's just say so this. they so they say. Let's just say so this, right? Say. Okay, the COVID. Right. This, this, we in year twenty twenty January. We hear about the COVID. Okay, this is the vote year. Mm -hmm. COVID makes you stay at home and want to send off mail-in um, ballots okay we got that mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. got the scare tactics of the riots now we talking about now we talking about or i'm talking about the hand this is the hand what plays in if you think you're the president these are the people who's the real behind the scenes mm -hmm. the billionaires the trillionaires the rothschilds the, the whole nines the divorces the ones that was behind the militia they help mm -hmm. finance the militia right. and other major billionaires. Why would they want to kidnap the governor? All this going on in 2020. Okay, before the vote, we have mass vote early. Mm -hmm. Never in history have we seen Never. this. Vote early. We have so many vote vote decals like we always talk about in on, on the um, NFL. You got LeBron James leading Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. You know, all this in 2020. Steph Curry. Burning up. They take they taking over yeah. police stations and burning them down. Okay. Vote day. You have Trump leading, surging. Vote day. Damn near he won the whole vote day. But damn, as you wake up, you see the surge of melons. Hmm. What country you know, Mr. Detroit, will have a presidential election with melons, and let me tell you this: what What do you think happens when you got the country split like mm -hmm. this when, in a third world country? What, what What usually happens? You got a war going Civil on. Civil war. Right. I never seen. They were saying that they was boarding up buildings downtown. Right. And when Trump came out, did you hear the response? Not only were they said? blowing up buildings, but there were bricks being set out. Downtown? Similar Seriously, to um, bricks was popping up all over the country. I know the bricks. Particularly in um, Democratic cities. Right. Denver, Chicago, um, I think um, Pennsylvania, Philly, because, mm -hmm. you know, due to the situation. Other spots, people was, you know, the kids are smart right now. Oh, yeah. So they taking, you know, ain't no construction around here, so bricks is just popping up yeah. on the corner. Yeah. 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 It's it seemed like, you know, if you got division, the best thing to do is start a civil war. Right. Or start a war between the people. There you go. Amongst the people. And so when if you can get a war amongst the people, you could bring in whoever we want to bring in. You can bring in, you know. Matter of fact, we got a martial law right now. You need to be in the house. We got COVID. We got too much going on right now. And and, and when you start pushing, when when you st and and like, if you around enlightened brothers that can see the bullshit, it advances you. So I don't understand how people can be not around enlightened people and swallow the bullshit. It's it's amazing how you know it's it's amazing how people can just be easily tricked in 2020. Well, you got social media right now, right? Yeah, and so you had the TV, which is you know entertainment, mm -hmm. and so people have really took the entertainment. They took the entertainment into reality shows, brought our kids up in the 2000s. Mm -hmm. On the real world. Remember the real world? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. MTV. I think that was one of the first. Right. MTV was killing it with that. You know, real world. Now, the real world is what? It's false. So, yeah. It's Disney. 
Mm-hmm. You got women looking, going around looking like Jessica Rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got uh, boys going around dressed up. You know what I'm saying? In these skinny jeans, super skinny. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And where's the strength at? Among our culture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because they keep portraying us as what? Dressing up in dresses. Yeah, yeah. The rappers turning gay. Yeah. You know, and no no disrespect to the LGBTQZ. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to them. But, you know, you got the rappers. You got the actors, actors. You got the cartoons. Yeah. So what's really going on right now? What's the real agenda like 2020? We got a we got a um the first presidential um election that I seen that's neck and neck. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's been carried on from days now. Yeah, yeah. This Thursday. And I ain't never seen it carry on that long. What's the real agenda behind yeah, that? Yeah. But they will tell you it's COVID, man. You know, we, we can't we can't do this. We can't have too many people, so it's gonna take a couple days. If it's gonna take a couple days, I need black folks to put their thinking cap on and was like, what's really going on? What's really going on behind the scenes? In Michigan, they, the black folks came out and voted in droves Tuesday. In droves. In Detroit. In Detroit. They came out and voted like they life depended upon it. Like they was going to get that $10 billion check. <laughs> and they got a sticker. They got a goddamn sticker, man. They didn't get reparations. They didn't get no check. They got a sticker. That's all I got to do to you to give you a sticker? That's all they wanted. That's all, uh, you know, I guess that's all they do it for, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This was for the recognition of the public that they participated in, in, you know, the situation. And I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking that. I mean, it's... it's, uh, necessary for us to vote right right okay it's necessary but it's just like you know everybody's going down there voting for the president when this is not what we need to be voting for that's not uh mm-hmm. the seat that's not that's, that's going to implement any change in our let's do this breakdown we got that, that video with, with with hunter biden okay we got we got it. okay let's say biden is looking old right now mm-hmm He's 71. Fragile. 77, I'm not right? saying, you know, because 77 and make you making you old, but he's looking older than what he is. I'm going to go ahead and say this, man. If you 77, and this is harsh, but we got to keep it 100. If you 77 and you white, you ain't Trump, really. Trump is around. What, what age? He's is 72 and he look okay. bad. He's he, overweight. You right. can hear him breathing. Biden is 70 what? 74, 77, something like that. Somebody gonna put it in the comment. Biden is like 70, 74. I thought he was like 77. Okay, well, 77. He might, well, he might be 74. He's 70. And his memory is not sharp. It's like what America does, they put old white men in office. They won't put nobody in their 30s. They won't put nobody in their 40s. The good old boys. The good old boys club. Just imagine you put somebody in their 30s in there. Or put somebody in their 40s. I got to looking at that. I'm like, man, you put the two oldest dudes. Got to be of all time. That's that's running for president. Well, you got you, you got behind them. You got uh, a 50-year-old um, sorority sister. sister. A.K.A. And, I'm, and, I'm, and listen, they're going to get mad at me because I went to HBCU. Y'all, sorority sisters, I'm going to cut this up real lovely. And I'm going to put it post and repost it. Listen, y'all sorority sisters, y'all AKs, that's y'all sister, man. If y'all don't get shit out of this in four years, I'm on y'all ass. I'm on y'all ass. She went to Howard, HBCU. Right. She a sorority. She an AKA, ACA. You better get something out of it. The HBCUs better get some shit out of it this year, man. We got four years. Y'all better work y'all magic. Call y'all sororities. Um, um, y'all got an anniversary coming up. Y'all better have that sister there, and y'all better work y'all magic. Whatever line she was on, whatever, what, whatever, whatever, whatever number she was, Howard, y'all better, Howard better be the most coldest HBCU college of all time. After that, I'm going after Tougaloo. And I'm going after Jackson State. Them, it better be Howard, Tougaloo, and Jackson State. 
Cause she, H, she I mean, HBCU. Right. She didn't go to a white college. But like I said before, who you love and who you lay down with is who you give your attention to. She married to a white guy. Who you love and who you lay down to. And have with. we seen him? How many times have we seen him in the line like? You ain't seen him at all. He goes. He stays. He I, I guess he know his position. The AKAs, I'm on y'all ass. I uh, love y'all. That's really the um the um presidential the, um directors. They really put you know put your family out there. Yeah. Somebody's hiding them in the back. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know. But you know, we got a president right now with a son. If he becomes president, we have a president that has a son with a coke problem. <laughs> For real, he has a um. <laughs> he has a major um, problem taking deals from different countries. Yeah, Russia. Um, I think the mayor of some type of Russia or Ukraine, Ukrainian mm-hmm. city. Mm-hmm. Everywhere his dad go, he takes money. They call him the human vacuum. And what Trump uh, say is, "Where's Hunter?" Mm. Hunter tweets from the rehab to his pops. Wow, That's, this is dangerous. Mm-hmm. So let, let's let's say that. The president, Biden, is the president, and his son relapses, right? Or gets killed Mm -hmm. or dies of a coke problem. Right, right. And he has to step down. We got Kamala. Mm -hmm. What if the president gets ill, dies, and Kamala steps up? We got Mm -hmm. all these issues Mm -hmm. we got with right now with Biden being there. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a, a son right now. That tweets from a rehab facility. Hmm. So when his dad become president, you know the coke is flown in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We all know this, people. Yeah, yeah. And this is what we we choosing right now. We're so mad at Trump to where we are put in a bigger evil yeah. to get rid of him. And by no means are we rocking with Trump. We just saying this. You, you got right. We're with- not voting for Trump. <laughs> And oh, no, you're not voting for Biden. No. You're just voting against Trump. Yeah. That's how we got to the spot that we are right now. Speaking of the spot, where are the electoral votes? Where are we at with it? What are we looking like? Same. Yeah, 253 to 214. It's the, it's the, they, he got one, one electoral vote. Come on, they playing with us. He got one state to win. Yeah, well, if he wins Pennsylvania with his 20 electoral votes, or, but it, or if he wins two of the other states. Oh, Trump. No, 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 Biden. If he wins, right. yeah. You know, but, but we Biden, talking about Trump, 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 it was, Trump, it was Trump just 213. It was just 213. Now they gave him one point. Oh, they gave him one electoral vote. I guess one. They, Where did that come from? One, I guess whatever state that he won, they got this worth one electoral vote. Damn. Well, what I'm looking at is pure theater. <laughs> they got you on the hook. Man. They got you on Trump's the couch. Lead. They said Biden Trump into, cuts into Trump's lead uh, in Pennsylvania. So oh, that yeah. means he's cutting into it even more. Oh, he's, yeah. he's, he's, we, we, we can go all through the weekend he's on this. Barbecuing and everything. Good weather in he Michigan. About to, he, about to, he, about to, he about to take Pennsylvania, and that's how he about to win it. We about to watch Pennsylvania for the next day and a half. Okay, tomorrow night we're going we're gonna to see it. Pennsylvania is going to be won by Joe Biden, and Joe Biden is going to be declared uh, the president-elect just off of Pennsylvania. All right. Mm-hmm. Watch watch what happens. Even because even if he gets one of those other two states, he's still not going to have the 270, so we'll still be waiting on Pennsylvania. It's either those two states or that one big state, Pennsylvania. Right. So It said, would you give your child Coke if he became prominent? No, I'm just saying, you're not as the president going to give your child Coke, but your child's going to have all the connects. I'm just saying, what wasn't the that Bush? That makes sense. The, the Bush kids, where was they at? They was all in the bars Man. at 18, 19 years old, Getting drinking. Drunk. Oh, yeah. The Obama daughters. Oh, you see what they did? They was running wild. Too. You no. can't control your kids, uh, but they got all the connects. What What was it? Sasha, somebody like posted a video with, 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 with uh, it wasn't Gucci Man, but it was one of the provocative joints. Um, uh, the, the city girls, I think. Yeah. Man, they snatch that shit off now, uh, off, off social media so fast. We, we, we don't rock like that. What is you doing? Wow. You know. So, hey man, your kids gonna be your kids, and you 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 can't stop them. You can't stop them. And and 
I'm a, this just with me on the outskirts looking in. I'm telling you, God put this in or it, it's like it's ordained. Because black folks, God is telling black folks, come on back. Come on back. You seeking a president when you got me. You seeking you seeking everything else. That's why the COVID shut the churches down. Shut Mecca down. Shut everything down. Y'all been raping and, 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 and doing all this. I'm going to shut everything down. And I'm going to see black folks. Because I'm only talking to black folks. Because black folks control. Black folks energy is so high. That we control the world. So you shut down all the churches. Where all the black folks at? And, we, and, I, and, and me and Mark talked about this. If you're supposed to be the man of God, man of God's supposed to be going to jail right now. So you got the average Joe going to jail right. for what they believe in. But you don't have the man of God that's supposed to be, you know, tongue, speaking in tongues, the evidence of, 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 of laying the hands, all that other stuff. Nobody's going to jail. Everybody's complying because everybody's in the bed with each other. You got the mega church. I mean, I go to Word of Faith. I ain't seen Keith Butler out there. You ain't because you got you got doing when Bush was in office, you had the um the church versus the state or yeah. separation. And so they had to make a deal. So for the churches to get grants, they have to separate their self they self um against government. Gov government anything, government yeah. issues or you know, issues that requires the church to come out in mass. They can't um, come out of mass. It will, you know, go against they um, they grants. Right. <laughs> My you know man's code of conduct. Or you wanna... <laughs> Did we ever get that that video yet? No, I didn't. I didn't see the. Uh... It's in the message. Who is yeah, who, is, who is Robert? That boy Robert said, "I think we need to vote Mark D for president." That boy gets straight to the bottom of shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> what the, I see the what. <laughs> What is this? This Fox News video that you did, did this up here? Uh, is this the one right here? No, it should have been. Um, Mr. Biden. Yeah, that one right there. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay, let's yeah, go. yeah, yeah. So, what is this that we watching, man? So, you know, we got the we got charges or not charges. We got allegations that's being brought up on Joe Biden, which is about to be the president, looking like to me, son, and his um, uncle, and his dad being accused of taking money before they even become president mm. your son you can't take the money because you're the candidate mm -hmm. but your son behind you is taking deals mm -hmm. and just give me 10 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so and you got this. bob um tony bobaluski which is one of um um hunter biden's associates with and, and business partners so let's watch this too it's two minutes i think that's it It's worldwide. To put it mildly, the Biden brothers are using the very same terminology, plausible deniability, to protect their untouchable sellout scheme. Mr. Biden, hi. Did you get answers to some questions? Just wondering why did you involve Joe Biden in your China deal? Why did you and Hunter Biden want Joe Biden to take a total D? Are you, are you Mr. Joe Biden? I wanted to ask you about the China deal. What about the plausible deniability? Did you tell Tony B plausible deniability? I remember looking at Jim Biden and saying, how are you guys getting away with this? Like, aren't you concerned? And he sort of looked at me and laughed a little bit and said, uh, plausible deniability. Very important. May 13th. That, that email was generated by somebody else to me. In that email, there's a statement where they go through the equity. Jim Biden is referenced as, you know, 10 percent doesn't say Biden, it's a Jim. And then it has 10 percent for the big guy held by H. I a thousand percent sit here and know that the big guy is referencing Joe Biden. Um, that it's, that's crystal clear to me because I lived it. I met with the former vice president in person. 
multiple times, and I had been meeting and talking with Hunter Biden and uh, Jim Biden and Rob Walker and James Tillier. There was no other reason for me to be in that bar meeting Joe Biden and to discuss what I was doing with his family's name on uh, the Chinese CFC. And that's, and that's just the tip, tip of the iceberg, iceberg that this titanic, titanic corruption will slam into as evidence surfaces revealed amongst the leadership of the FBI to cover Joe Biden's tracks. You may ask, why would the FBI hang on to possible evidence incriminating the Bidens for over a year, only to mildly acknowledge the laptop and now a second laptop seized in February after that information was reported by independent sources? Well, new evidence points to multi Millionaire FBI director Christopher Ray, who was previously an attorney with King and Spalding at the time, when a deal was made between Hunter Biden, who was representing a Chinese company that was after a 14% stake in the multi-billion-dollar Russian oil company Rosneft. That company was represented by Christopher Ray's law firm, King and Spalding, essentially putting our FBI director on the other side of the table from the Biden crime family's enterprise. Those brothers, brothers who covertly got the United States into called them the Biden crime family, Judah. Hmm. Man, that's just a little footage, you know, that was put together um, by the net, and it shows you that before Biden even become president, which we're looking at, pretty much about to become the president, his son is already taking deals. Mm -hmm. His boy is already snitching. They ain't even in the office yet. They already stealing money and snitching on each other. Not really stealing, accepting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bought yeah. out. Accepting money. Right, 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 right. Bought out by mayors of Russia and so, billionaires of Ukraine. Go ahead. And so when Trump said that during the speech, like, so you took money. Mm -hmm. Your son took money, and Joe turned around and said, "We never took any money." He never, he, he could say his, what he said when we, he, he could, could say, say his campaign never took money. Right. And I ain't Trump, lie. And Trump probably like, he off script. Like he's not supposed to be saying that. And we talked about this. If, if, if you off script in so America. We echoing what is it? Um, no, I so. We got it. Okay. If you off script and you with America, you got to be removed. So, I mean, this last year, Trump been off script like a mug. Saying what he wanted to say, come out, do what he wanted to do. He used to run his shit. Because that's how white men actually do. Like, you, you catch the average white guy like that, you probably whoop his ass. But they hide behind so much stuff and... and, and they to the point where you can't touch them so so they willing to say anything and trump is what america birth and so when i tell black folks do not get attached with this man do not get attached with this man we got to get him out of here bro you 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 messing with something that you should not be messing with we already got a scandal before it even come in <clears throat> right your son taking deals you in China, every time he get off, they call him the human vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> why Why they call him the human vacuum? Because the dad can't accept the money, but he can. Now you see why he got the coke problem. He getting millions of dollars. I think he running some type of Ukrainian energy company with no experience. Mm -hmm. These are facts, people. I'm not siding with nobody. I'm just saying, we, we dealing with a president that got a, that has a son right now. That has a problem with cocaine and and accepting, and accepting money, money from, this from countries. Ass. That's a problem. That's like your crackhead. You make your neighborhood crack addict <laughs> the chairman of Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what do you think about Chrysler? Would go on. What type of deals would you get? A whole type of fast deals. Man. It's not gonna benefit Chrysler. Yeah, I got I got word uh, 
from some intel that, that, that mayor, former mayor Kwame Kilpatrick um, has already been released from from prison. Mm-hmm. He's already out. He's free right now. He's out. Mm. Hasn't been published on the mainstream media yet. But, no, no, no. You know, I got word. I got intel that he's out. But they did it last week. I mean, they did it what last two months ago. Fox Two News. Oh yeah, that thing. Up. Yeah, that thing that they did a couple of months ago. Uh, yeah, that was fraud. That was a that was a that was a fraudulent. Or was that the beginning of what we have right now? And and they just spoke on it way too prematurely. Nobody. But nonetheless, got in with but that? nonetheless, right? I guess. But I mean, who 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 was to get in trouble? No, you're not uh, in trouble. I don't think on. Uh, but nonetheless, they did let that the information reporting? out prematurely, and they yeah. said that he was supposed to be like officially getting out, and it, it, and it wasn't uh, confirmed yet. But now we have family members that have come out and say that uh, he was he was being released. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and as of this morning, I heard you know that he was indeed out, but it just had not been released on the mainstream. I media. mean, that's yeah. good. You know, what I'm saying he need to be at home with his um his sons, his his family, his his wife, or whatever you know, his family, because he 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 did long enough. Mm-hmm. You got white politicians that's um did more has got less or pardon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. for him to do as long as he did, I think it was, you know, it was a little bit excessive. But, you know, I'm just glad to see that he coming home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. He didn't deserve that much time at all. The no. I mean, not him. really, because that's how that's politics. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I look at it. And it's that good boy club. Kwame going to jail for they're going to put him out there for what, 28, 28 years? That's what I was going to put him in. Yeah, he's going to do that, you know. But you got other politicians. The governor from Illinois that was trying to sell Obama's seat. Right. He got out. He what well, he did like two, three. Yeah, that's all they're going to do. Two, three. Cupcake, cupcake. Um, you know, Jay. Kwame got to do what? Eight. Yeah. Nine. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So. You know. We see where race plays a part in this. Mm-hmm. Race plays a part in how you get convicted or, and, and the charges that get brought upon you in the sentencing. You know, sure, even mm-hmm. if you get convicted, you know what I'm saying. Even as a politician, if you think you're above the law, as we see most um, black entertainers, politicians, mm-hmm. when they go against the grain, they get triple the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is that? You know what I'm saying? Here you can you can have a um, a Caucasian white boy walk down the street from Chicago in another state in what Minnesota, or Wisconsin, Wisconsin I think, mm-hmm. Kenosha, mm-hmm. and get what they dropping charges. Hmm. Yeah, we'll let you, me, whoever, another melanated person walk up down the street with an AR-15 during during a um. A protest. Mm-hmm. Let's see the charges that get brought up on him. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just crazy out here, yo. You know what I'm saying, Mister Detroit man, Mark. Man, it's, it's just... like I can't even. I don't even know what to say about some of the shit that's going on out here right now, man. What can you say about it, man? And it is what it is, and you gotta, re- you gotta respect America's gangster. They do shit right in front of your face, and expect and and be looking at you like say something. <laughs> Say something. And they push the envelope all day, every day. All day, every day. So it take brothers like us to, to step outside the ram and light that shit up. Somebody said, whatever happened to the governor at the time, she just disappeared or are you referring she's scared. to the time? I mean, she, she's scared. You got to, I mean. How did she I, disappear? I thought she was threatened to be kidnapped but yeah but when, once that threaten came out she i mean as a woman she, with kids and a husband she's scared to mm-hmm. me you know yeah, i wouldn't i mean shit, you I know what i'm saying you got the it. militia you know they it. storming um voting voting centers trying to get up in there they're trying to kidnap me they're trying to kill me <laughs> and you got a president that's behind this mm-hmm. you got billionaires that's behind it mm-hmm. the, the mm-hmm. bosses 
has been, um, you know, said to be donating to to the Michigan militia. Mm-hmm. And the divorce is his aunt way. Yeah, yeah. You remember when he ran for what governor? Right, right. That dude, that dude was something else. That's man. Grand Rapids. Yeah, yeah. Now you see why Trump ended in where? Where did he end it? Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. <laughs> so if it do come down to this, this is just my take, people. Don't. If it do come down to a stance to where Trump is yelling, they cheated and they cheated. Mm-hmm. He told his boys to stand down. Mm-hmm. This is where we get in third world countries. We get rebellions. You know what I'm saying? Right now they got it at 50 50. Like the country is at gridlock. We against each other. Mm-hmm. Like I was telling with Mark, you got the Bhutus and the Hutus in Rwanda. And then he Same people. people. To stand down as opposed to what? And in and in his campaign trail, in in their base, stand down as opposed to what attack. Stand down, you know, you know, um, you got to say the Michigan militia was implicated in uh, helping Timothy McVeigh in the Oklahoma bombing. Mm. So if they can orchestrate a bombing way in Oklahoma, a federal building, now we in twenty twenty, mm. they have a president. And they try to kidnap a governor. <laughs> so where we at now? And they're backed by billionaires. Mm-hmm. This is the Michigan militia people. And the president ends his campaign in their home base, which is the divorce's home base, Amway. Mm. So if we get into a gridlock to where Trump said, I'm not leaving the White House in January, what, the 21st? <laughs> we can get it to a standoff, people, because what? Let, let's look at the bigger part of this, <laughs> Mr. Detroit. If, if, if we don't have no president, what can't get passed? Man, nothing. And he and he's just the dude to do some shit like that, too. We can't get fiscals passed. We can't get budgets passed. So my, where will money be after January mm-hmm. 21st? Yeah. If the Senate can't get together and the congress can't get together because we now have two presidents what do we see this at amen we see this in the third world countries Countries. (laughs) where now we have to now take our soldiers gonna take it to the streets and we got a whole plague going on this is this is this is beginning to look a a whole a a lot a a, a very third world country. While we celebrating and saying, "Oh yeah, we happy for him," Mm -hmm. we can get to a gridlock. People after January twenty first and can't shit get passed. Ain't no taxes. Ain't no income taxes. People. Hmm. Ain't Ain't none of that. Mark, is the phone lines open, man? Is the phone lines open? Let's see if we can open up the phone lines. The phone lines should be open right now. Three one three seven two three zero. The God has been burning it down, man. The God. Three one three seven two three. That's just what we got. You know what I'm saying? You know. What do you think? That's that. I'm I'm, I'm telling you. That's that third eye. Right. That's the gods talking, man. And 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 that's and and that's only right. That you. I mean, if you can't understand what, what basically what you just broke down. You're not willing to accept what's going on in America. That's just the other side of it. Yeah. I'm not saying it could happen. People. No, no, don't no. don't get caught up and no. say we conspiracy theorists. And- I can't stand that. I can't stand that when people like well you with that's that woke shit and, and, until until it's be, until the things begin to happen that we are conspiring. Let's just take it to the street. If you robbing, you got to look at all sides of it. You can mm-hmm. get popped. You can get caught. Mm-hmm. Some can go wrong. Let's okay. That's how you got to look at the election. Yeah. I'm just talking street. I don't go out robbing or nothing. You know, what I'm, I'm just speaking from the street mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. Let's look at all angles, people. Mm-hmm. If if we don't have no president, and the president don't want to leave, which is current Donald Trump because he's suing, then it can be chaos. Yeah. Cause can't nothing get past people. Don't applaud what's going on now, because them chicks ain't might not come to shit. <laughs> December or never if they beefing in the streets or they beefing between two presidents like you see in Jamaica mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like you see in, like you see in uh, Kosovo and all that shit what's the new country that's in, in Latin America right now that Trump talks about 
that's in chaos that had all the oil. Mm -hmm. I can't think of who you're talking about. I forget, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just, just speaking. This is right now, it's looking like to me, it can start straight chaos. Yeah. 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 Mr. Detroit, you know what I'm saying? We can, because we got two presidents, yeah. and we got now they made the, and they painting the picture mm -hmm. on on the net on on TV. And then all of a sudden, you seen Biden talking about the COVID that you know he you know he addressed that right before I left and came over here, took his mask off and addressed it, talking about you know the uh, um, it's an influx of COVID um, 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 patients or COVID cases has like shot up. Right. And so you get him talking like that, and now you got Trump, which is the president, and this dude like a hothead. He looking like bro, how he talking behalf of me? Right. So now you got and two two different presidents. There you go. Like Future said, Future the rapper, Future mask on against the mask offs. <laughs> <laughs> It's, this place could be Venezuela. Hey, man. Mask on versus the mask offs. Hmm. Because I, I you know, like you got certain people who say, I want I want to smell fresh air. I don't want no mask. Mm -hmm. They're going against the grain. Yeah. And you got some people. like you said, the side of the people are oh, we need a mask. Mm -hmm. It transmits. Yeah. So it's nothing but a soccer game. Yeah. This is what the world is being played as. One huge Football game. One, mm -hmm. one huge, huge game. The mask ons versus the mask, the mask offs. Mask ons versus the and that's mask how it's, that's how it's looking to me in the election. Mm -hmm. The grid lock. Yep, in twenty twenty. In twenty twenty. And if you got kids, what are you gonna tell your kids? They got the kids at home. They got all the kids at home. And you got parents that's complying to everything maybe the so, kids at home right now because you know we need to really get to that family point mm -hmm. because you got that mark that conjunction December the 21st mm -mm. will we be revealed after what the, the planets align mm. We got the planets aligning on December twenty first. What is it called? With didn't the Karen, the Carrington. Did, didn't know that. We talked about it when Sear was on here, Mark. So the plan planet's supposed to be aligned in twenty in December. Fully aligned. Fully aligned. December twenty first. Got the Jupiter and what? I think it's Saturn. December twenty first against the sun. We're supposed to have a new sun. Mm. The sun's supposed to die out, and a new day is supposed to arise, and the Corona. Which means the sun, the corona of your eye, mm. which is being revealed, the reveal, the revealing, mm -hmm. the riots of our kids, us, me and you, mm -hmm. our kids is rebelling because we once rebelled. We the hip hop generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We re we rebelled. Mm. So we ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? Before we get out of 2020, it have to be a big bang. Mm. Look what all has been going on in 2020. Yeah, this yeah. is the biggest year you ever known. The kids took took animals out of the zoo in Chicago, ran over cops. We mm. have a major disease, a major presidential grid lock. That's never happened. Everything this year never happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Notice that, Mr. Detroit. <laughs> what no, you got no, to no, say no. about that? No, what's really fucking me up is this. Yesterday, I brought my son out. And I had to move something. And so I'm telling my son, this is what we going to do. Right. This dude challenged me as if to say, no, nah, what you talking about, dad, ain't the hot shit. We going to do it like this. So I'm looking at my son like, God, what very is you? outspoken. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, what is you talking about? And he hit me. The day kids, they hit you with the three words. We going to do this. We going to do that. That's it. That's it. I'm like, Dave, what you talking about? We gonna do this, we gonna do that. I'm like, Dave, it don't work like that. Yes, it is. And he challenging me. I'm looking like, dude, I'm the God. How you challenge the God? You see what happened? Look, look at the young guys, the kings. That, what, look at what they did to the to the police. Never in history have we ever contested the police. 
our fathers and yeah. mothers never tested the police like that. Dude, I'm looking at this dude like, God, don't have me come off my throne and come get you. Right. He looking at me like, this the way it's going to be, Dad. It It's making me think what you just said, like, you challenge it. And I'm looking at him like, God, you wrong. And it, it, and it become like a beef right there in the alley because we're trying to move this trailer. I'm looking at him like, God, do you understand who you're talking to? And he casually like, no, nah, man, it ain't. It, it, this is what it, this is what it is. And I so 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 the emphasis of of what you know the purpose of y'all being there switched from moving the trailer to being a battle of who was right. Yes. And so with me, I'm I'm looking at my son because I'm I always tell him you the image of me. Mm -hmm. You God, but you just a better version. You know what I did? I fell back. Because if if he's going I had to take into consideration that if he's going to be a god at this particular time, I had to fall back. That's that's the Odin versus the Thor theory. Odin is a king, but he Thor is the young king. Mm -hmm. We the Odin. So what we got we the wise, we yeah, going to teach him, but we know one day he going to take over. And so I fell back. We pushed the trailer back on how he did it. I didn't challenge him. I just had to sit back and learn and was like, because w with me. You have to understand that he has vision as well. Right, right. And, right. and I had to accept his vision, him. Mark. I had to accept his vision. Right. But I wasn't trusting his vision. I had to just be like, all right, fuck it. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do it like that. And the shit worked. But I kept thinking like, as we was pushing that trailer back, because we had to move it from the alley around the back to my backyard. I had to look like, well, my dad do the same thing. And my dad really wasn't fucking with me like that. Because you got to understand back in the day, a lot of, a lot of the, um, the older, older people were stern on it, on mm -hmm. their way of thinking. Yeah. And you had to, 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 to overtake them back in the day. You, you had to majorly prove. Yeah. You couldn't just come with no goddamn idea off rip. And over me, you had to show him. God you damn it! Who the hell? Hell no! Him. You don't know what the shit you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But we, we now we in 2020. Mm -hmm. We in a whole new sun. And like you say, it's that, it's that new, it's that new sun that's popping up. The new sun, the Carrington event, mm -hmm. which you know, peace to Sir the Duke of Tears will put me on it, and a lot of other people that um right now um, that you can follow. That um that's on it right now. You can look up the Carrington event with a K K A R I N G. I think the Carrington T O N event, which I think um it starts this month started lining up mm -hmm. in November. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so it's gonna be something that we ain't never seen this year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the shit is a lining up for a spectacle. Mm -hmm. Because look what's all been going on in 2020. Look at all the major players that died. We'll see what uh and 2020 can't mark can't just it can't just end with just a celebration with the fireworks and all that that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you mm -hmm. do for the New Year's. Yeah, yeah. It had to be something that we have to see. Well, let's say, well, damn. Because mm -hmm. the planets is aligning up. Mm -hmm. Unlike, you know what I'm saying. We never seen this. And people right now don't even know what the fuck gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Excuse we'll my see, French. We'll see, because uh, it's about that time, we'll see by next week how much the world has changed when we get back to have another episode and shit because we're going to uh, we gonna I hope, I hope we the, have uh, a I hope we have a resort in Pennsylvania come next on, week I mean, hopefully <laughs> goddamn because I seen I seen a, a meme on uh, on Instagram which said this is the current situation right now the, the current um, political stand right now and it was a bunch of scribble of red and blue oh uh, yeah I see yeah over the map yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen one that seen said that? Uh, I seen one that said uh, um, uh, we'll be done counting Pennsylvania and a few hours, and then it said Pennsylvania, and it had a picture of the Oprah Church on Seven Mile. 
<laughs> what when the shit uh, when they got done like they they still ain't done. It's been years and they still ain't done. That right. church been up there for how long? Man, it's been up there for at least what ten? At least five. I want to say which like, one? That that on Seven Mile with the one that the church where Oprah was building on Seven Mile. Seven Mile and Woodward, right there by the McDonald's behind the McDonald's. Behind the old McDonald's because it's not a McDonald's no more. Oprah was building that. Yeah, that was a church. Yeah. So she Oprah. haven't finished it. She haven't. Finished but she it. finished the South uh, South Africa uh, school. That's all the Oprah girls. church. Huh? That's supposed yeah, to be Oprah. Yeah, that was Oprah was building that. She had a vested interest. She was invested in, wow. and then I believe she pulled her money out, and that's the reason why they stopped building it. Mm. Stop investing into it. And I forgot if anybody took it over or what. But next week, fellas, uh, Thursday, right, five o'clock, of mm-hmm. uh, the God Podcast, man. We're gonna go ahead and call it the God Podcast, man. The gods uh, come down to talk about what's going on in the world, man. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna see it. Again, next week, every Thursday, we're going to kick it off from Friday, uh, from 5 to 6, possibly 5 to 7, if we get a couple more brothers in here to kick it and hold it down with us, man. So, that's what it is, man. Y'all follow Drew the Woke Ace, Truth Talk Nation. Uh, Truth Talk Nation. Get that Morris Cookbook that on Morris Amazon. Cookbook the on, Morris Cookbook. The Morris Cookbook on Amazon. Y'all follow Mr. Detroit. Where they, where they follow you at, bro? Oh, um, Mr. Detroit or, you know. Detroit Stand Up Podcast. Detroit Stand Up Podcast. Yes, That's sir. What it is. Yes, That's sir. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. And we'll see y'all uh, next week, man. We up out of here. Peace. Peace. Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven.